Dayton's transition offense accounted for 20% of their offensive output last season. A large part of the reason for their success in transition is their structure and the details in the implementation of the offense starting on day one. Players are either pushers or runners. Got this guy in there too, Cooks. When he got his second foul yeah. is when Dayton went on the run. That's yeah, a good point, Jeff. When he went out of the game, Dayton was able to get a bit of separation between these two teams. Boy, nice drive. A runner is any player who you do not feel comfortable bringing the ball up the floor. On a rebound, they will immediately look for a deep outlet to whichever side of the floor the designated point guard is on. Whatever side of the floor you are on when the rebound is secured, you will stay on that side of the floor with pushers getting to the corners and slots and runners trailing the play for a drag screen or a jump shot depending on their ability to shoot. Williams will try it from the other side. Why not? He's got some range. Oh, he had to kick it out. Tough shot. Duffy unable to hit it. Everything is a challenge both ways. Easy. Power. Any pusher that rebounds the ball will begin the break by getting into a driving lane. Running lanes are along the sideline and the center of the court. Attack lanes run slot to slot between the midcourt and the sideline. Basketball on the road. Gibbs for the step back three. That's way off. Usually Dayton is the one turning the other teams over. And they've got the eight turnovers, as you said, and only seven made field goals. And that's about a travel. There may be times when three players are on one side of the floor, and that's okay. It leaves a lot of space open for a drag screen or wing penetration with little help side. This is called a loaded side. The primary looks in transition are called up the street, across the street, and over the top, indicating a pass directly up the floor, diagonal, or over the top to a rim runner. Something Will Wade told us earlier today, and that was about the free throws. Remember, he said, we made more shots. At 75%, don't need to if you make the triples. Rolling with three. For the top by Stanford Robinson. And partner, what did I just say? You must get the ball inside to more turnovers than field goals in the second half. Staley has it blocked away. And here comes Davis. Davis in on McIntosh, who fouled him. Gale's offense. Three pointer. Hermanson once again won't go this time. Smith, Cook, whistle. Ace picks up. Here comes Dayton. Cross. Offensive end. The offense will come. That three ball was wide by a lot. It's David Ando. Kendall Powell with the stop. The post trailing the play will step into a three if he has the ability to shoot from that range. If not, he will sprint into a drag screen. Coach Miller does not always want his players to stop and set a good screen, but sprint at the ball handler's defender and make the ball screen defense confused. That feed from John Axel Goodmanson. Zarius Williams one-on-one -on -one with Aldridge. And Scoochie Smith. Spacing is key, but any time in transition that you see the back of your defender's head, you should cut straight to the rim. If you are going to take a lot of shots in transition, it is important to spend time working on the footwork getting into shots. Dayton's players will sprint hard and wide until they get a few feet from their spots, and then they will break down their feet similar to a closeout before getting into one more step for a rhythm shot.
If you have any questions on Dayton's transition offense or how they implement it throughout the season, feel free to reach out through email or Twitter.